email it to me yes. or yes 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 I'll before I leave you, do you have a thumb drive mm -hmm. yeah you want yeah, yeah give it to me let me copy over the files over to it all right youtubers we're gonna program this rolls rice amplifier there's an amplifier in the back there is it right there oh this is a suicide door crap this amplifier I think it's not pushing out no more pushing out any more bass the radio is playing as you can hear it and this is the new amplifier we purchased we're going to program this one so that we can code it and allow the bass to be put output all right so thank you let me see if i can push in this usb to back up some data for him okay so we're going to um we're going to save this file codes list for Jason and um, okay I saved it already, here's it right there I'm going to copy over these things over to um, this this is it right here, this is a folder I'm going to copy it over to his thumb drive right here he needed those information Alright, so we're going to basically delete the fault memory. We're going to delete the fault memory. If this was 47, we're going to delete it and see what remaining. Because the car engine is running now and the battery was uh, run down. And then, it, you know, it will generate the fault codes that we see. So we supposed to have less fault codes than 47 remaining whenever it's finished. It's going to ask us to do a terminal change. So I'm going to just wait until that comes up. And there it goes right there. We're gonna turn off this turner. All right, we're do a terminal change to zero. It's doing this deleting right there. You can see the yellow bar going across. All right, it asks us to turn it back on. So for now, I'm gonna see if I can actually uh, started it because I need a voltage. I put foot on brake. Start stop button right here. All right. And then we get back into the game. There we are, right there. Okay. Alright, we finished, so we're going to now let see what remaining. This one right here is auxiliary control unit. There's a fault code there in the SECU. And there's one right here, IHKA, this one here. And then this one would be the pro speech processing. Alright, so we Auxiliary control unit. This one is IHK AC controller, and then this one we're gonna program the SB, the SBS speech processing, and we're gonna also program this amplifier with this stuff here right now. So we're gonna shut down. We go here, close operations, and uh, we go here, uh, active. Click that. Close operations. All right, we, okay, we loaded the uh, loader, and then we're gonna click on Rose right here, this icon right here, into the bottom right, and launch the Rose Rice brand on Easter P. And then we wait. All right, Easter P should come on the screen by now. And this is Taurus client that is responsible for it, right here. What we do now, we look at what version we're running here. It is the P367, 3.67. So we go here, create new session, click continue. And click on that and go forward.
right, it pulls up the voltage. Alright. Mr. P asks us if we replace control motility, yes. And so on, then we click continue here. Okay, YouTubers, alright, this part of the program that says that it comes up with a dialog box more than one time, so we have, a, we have part number for the basic control unit, the amplifier, and then we have part number for the program control unit, this one now, so the part number for program control is specified will be um, this part number, I'm going to put this one in, because right now this one is the same thing, like right here, so it keeps coming up back with the, the manual entry, so I'm going to put uh, zero, 306 751 and then we click continue here's it comes up with here's it comes up with the list to say we should select the control unit from it, so we're going to look for the amplifier ears it, and also the SV, the SV, uh, the SVS. All right, we only select the amplifier, and then we go forward. Continue. We we'll wait. This check has read that as replacement. So this is the part number for replacement. So we're gonna determine measure plan. Right, here's the measure of plan, it's going to take about 3 minutes, measure of plan taking about 3 minutes, so I'm going to look at what's going to be done. I'm going to click accept measure plan. Accept the number that I put in, so. It accepted, so once it comes right here, it's going to update the measure plan. It said update of the measure plan is finished, so it's yeah. not going to read Falco memory. So we're going to click continue going forward. So it, it, it checks out the amplifier and the SBC as replacement follow up. Hopefully, we're going to see the EHC electronic eye control recorded. So let us wait and see what played out. Okay, right now, it's the piece clearing file code memory inside of the control module that is concerned. So we um, we're gonna pause the video for now on the phone. And there's a terminal change right there. So we're gonna make a terminal change now on the car by turning this off right here. All right, it should go to zero. There it goes. Go to zero. Alright, and there's it, it tells us to turn on back the car, alright, no big deal. Okay, we turn on back terminal 15, so we continue with the recording. It's almost finished. Okay, YouTubers, we finished program the Rolls Royce uh, amplifier, and we delete file code memory. And this one here is in programming aboard, the speech processing, we're gonna program this, probably tomorrow, it's night now. So we're going to close up the session. Thank you for subscribing to my channel for BMW 